Number 11 from the 2014 Advanced Hire, the graphs question. Much disappointment about the amount of time you spent on that chapter on graphs of rational functions. And you get this. It's like going for a restaurant and you're looking for this big meal. And you get one of these Novo Cuisine things with the little dots of potatoes, with the little spirals. That's enough of that. So, what's the Copy the above diagram. Done it, there'll be no marks for that. On the diagram, sketch the graph of y equals the inverse of the f of x. So this was the graph of y equals f of x. Now the inverse simply means switching the answers for the inputs. So interchanging the x and y axis, or flipping over the line y equals x. There's the line y equals x. So taking the graph and flipping it over, Well, we should produce this. <clears throat> the significant features are to notice that the two curves must intersect on that axis of symmetry, which is what the line y equals x is. The other feature is, of course, that this point will be below that new asymptote because c was less than 5. So we draw that in instead. So there's the inverse function there. I can put in some features of it. If that cuts at c, that will cut at c. If the equation of this asymptote was y equals x minus 5, the equation of this one will be y equals x plus 5. That is the graph of, where can we put all this, y equals the inverse of x. And the only thing left is, it says show any points of intersection in any asymptotes. Well, don't worry about the number for this. You don't know what those numbers are. The significant thing is you know that they intersect on the axis of symmetry. The coordinates will be the same there. I'll put that 5 in as well. So there's no more information I can add to the diagram than that. So that must be part A. Now part B says, what's the, for one mark, what's the equation of the asymptote of the graph of y equals f of x plus 2? Well, x plus 2 will simply be the graph shifted back to. To plot a value at x, you have to go to the value which was 2 more than it, take its result and bring it back. It's going to go back 2. And if the graph goes back, its asymptote will go back with it, so it'll shift back 2. Which means it's cutting here at 3. Now if it's cutting here at 3, I'll just put a quick sketch of this new line. If this line, or gradient 1, is cutting at 3, it'll be cutting the y-axis at negative 3, which means the equation will be y equals x minus 3. Part C, why does your diagram show the equation x equals f of f of x has at least one solution? Well, first of all, let's play around with this. Instead of having f of f of x, and you don't know the function, if you apply the inverse function to both sides, the inverse function of f should be the inverse function of f of f of x. So inverse function of x should be, that'll knock that out, which leaves that with f of x. In other words, where does f dash x intersect f of x there? So what does it say? Why does your diagram show that at least once a uh, one solution? Well, f dashed x y equals that intersects y equals f of x on the line. Whoops, on the line y equals x would be the answer to that. That's what the part was for in part A. Show clearly that point of intersection. A little clue for you there. Oops, I forgot the consequence, which means that there is at least one solution. There.